everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at part four of our grass care series that is going to deal with collecting bales up off the field and all of the various tools and devices that you might be able to use to transport or handle said bales. Now we have in front of us some front loader tools and there are bale tools for front loaders, telehandlers, wheel loaders and skid steers. I didn't bring around all of those tools because for the most part, they all operate about the same. They all look very similar, but we have here in front of us kind of a sampling of a round bale grab and a square bale grab. We have a Flegel three point hitch attached round bale transport device, I guess we'll call it. It can attach to the front or rear of your tractor and can transport two bales at a time. And then behind us, we have four semi-autonomous bale loading trailers that will load round bales, square bales, small baby bales, ones that made with the Massey Ferguson small baler, and then big square bales. And then behind that, we have a more traditional, just flatbed trailer that you can use to transport bales off the field that you load onto it with any number of the various bale grabs available in the game. And speaking of being available in the game, let's go ahead and take a look where they are in the shop. Under tools, we go to bale loaders. This is where we're gonna find all of the bale trailers and the Flegel three-point hitch adapter. This particular adapter, as I said, will connect to the front or rear of your tractor and can transport two bales a piece. This works best with the smaller round bales, the 125 centimeter diameter round bales. I would not suggest using this with a larger diameter bale. You're gonna run into problems because this post right here is gonna be getting in the way. And then when you fold this up, it will interfere with the larger diameter bales. Then we have the Anderson RBM 2000 bale trailer. This is designed to pick up and transport round bales, 24 bales at a time can be used with this. And this particular trailer can adapt itself to support 125 to 180 centimeter bales. So it can transport all three of the various round bale sizes with the caveat that it can only transport one size bale at a time. So if you load it up with a few 125 centimeter bales, you will not be able to pick up a 180 centimeter bale until you unload the 125 centimeter bales. But once it is empty, you can indeed collect the 180 centimeter bales with this trailer. We have the Arcusen Multipack D14. This particular stacker is designed to be used with the 120 centimeter small square bales that are made by the Massey Ferguson baler. The way this works is the baler will, bale will be picked up by this arm and transported to this area right here where it will then be placed into this stack. When there are 14 bales in this stack, it will in essence wrap them in some twine and then you can eject the stack of 14 bales out the back. It's a pretty cool piece of kit. I'm really gonna look forward to showing it to everybody. Then we have the Arcusen 4 stack 8.12. This particular bale stacker will stack three large square bales into a vertical stack that you can then use some other bale grabs that we're gonna take a look at later to then move and place onto a flatbed trailer. This particular stacker will work with all three sizes of square bales, 180 centimeters, all the way up to 240 centimeters. Then we have the Arcusen FSX 63.72 bale trailer. This will transport 14 large square bales. It will transport 180 centimeter to 240 centimeter square bales. And as it also happens to hold, it will transport the 14 bale stack from the Arcusen multipack. So if you have a lot of 14 bale stacks of the small square bales, you can actually pick those stacks up using this FSX bale trailer also. 
Then we have two flatbed trailer options. We have the DPW 1800. We can get in a standard flatbed configuration or we can put extensions on the front and back. And in this configuration, it would be ideal to transport round bales. Then we have the Agriliner PWO24. This particular trailer can be configured in multiple configurations. This particular configuration, we can fold the sides down. In design two, we can lower these sides, which help kind of hold the bale in place. This would probably be for round bale stacking. And then in design three, again, these sides can be folded down with hydraulics. The choice of color and rim color on this particular trailer also. Then we move into our front loader tools for various bale grabs. We have the Albert bale spike right here, pretty straightforward. Then we have the bale handler. That is one that we're gonna demonstrate here today. We have the round bale fork right here, wrapped bale handler or a bale spike variant. And then these will separate or come closer together with hydraulics. Then we have the bale king, which is something we're also going to demonstrate here today. We move down to the wheel loaders and we wheel loader does indeed have also a bale fork, very similar to the bale king, but just a whole lot bigger. We look at the telehandler tools. There is a bale fork for the telehandler. Then there is a wrapped bale handler, again, for the telehandler. Skid steer loader, we have a bale spear, as well as a wrapped bale handler also. And that is pretty much what we have available to us as far as bale transport. So let's go see how some of these things work. Now I'm sure someone's going to ask, why on earth would we want to make little small bales anyway? Well, the reason is because we can actually pick these up. So if you only need a small amount of hay, straw, or grass to feed your animals, then making these small bales may be an effective way to get that job done without having to invest in more expensive bale handling equipment. All you need is a trailer of some sort, or in this example, a flatbed pickup, maybe a side-by-side, -side, and you can easily just pick these bales up and manipulate them by hand and transport them or feed them around. So when it's in your hand, you can hold down the center mouse button and then rotate the bale in any direction you want also so it can also aid in handling these bales around you can toss the bale with the right mouse button i accidentally tossed the bale earlier so there you go so that is maybe one reason why you might want to use the small square baler is in order to make smaller size bales that you can actually manipulate by hand now, while we're talking about small square bales, let's go ahead and take a look at the multi-back. What we're going to do with this is we're going to put it into operating position with B. At that point, we have the nice animation of the chains and the teeth there to grab the bale and move it along. Let's go ahead and watch this happen. So it gets picked up, rotated around, and then a pusher arm pushes it back into the stack right there. Let's go ahead and watch it. Collect another one. And then it raises those two up so another two can be collected. Right now we are collecting grass bales. Really cool animation on this. Let's 
just give it a watch. And now once you have 14 in the stack, you're going to hit Y to unload. It's going to open up the back. Then you're going to hit Y to unload bales here. Then it is going to drop the stack down. And then we can hit Y once again to close it back up and get it back in operating position to pick up another set of 14 fails. Now, real quick, I want to show you something that I think is really interesting. And that is that the stack of 14 bales here is very, very similar in size to a large square bale. In fact, if we made the largest square bale, these would be identical in size. So I think that's super cool on how we can make 14 little square bales and put them into a stack. You can see the four rows of twine there that are basically holding all 14 of these bales together into a single stack. This is 7,000 liters or 1.1 tons. This square grass bale is 6,000 liters and one ton. We made 240 liter bales or 240 centimeter bales when we made these square bales and the maximum size goes up to 280 centimeters. Now you may say to yourself, well, once you have these 14 bales in a single stack, you can't pick them up. What 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 purpose does they serve? Because you just said that the whole reason, one of the reasons to make these small square bales was because you could pick them up by hand. And that is indeed the case. You can't pick these up by hand once you have them all in stack. Here we have 14 square hay bales, 8,400 liters of total hay that weighs 490 kilograms. But a feature of this 14 stack is that you can cut open the bale stack. And when you do that, you walk up to these and you hit R. Now they are 14 bales again. We can pick them up and once again, put them in our truck or feed them. So we have the benefit of being able to use them by hand and we have the, ab the ability to put them into a large stack of 14 bales with the Arcusian stacker to then be able to move 14 bales at one point in time with either picking them up with a bale grab or picking them up with the large square Arcusian wrap or bale trailer that we're gonna look at here in a little bit. Now let's move up the product stack and take a look at transporting round bales. Here I have the Flegel three-point hitch round bale transport device, for lack of a better terminology. And the way this works is we're going to unfold it by hitting X. We're going to lower it down to the ground with V, and then we can use the left mouse button to go left and right to kind of fine tune the angle. We can left mouse button up and down to raise and lower it as we need. And the way this works is we're just going to address the side of the bale and try to get square up on it as best we can. That way we can slide these fingers, if you will, up underneath the bale, just like that. Then we can V to raise it up. We can left click and tilt it back a little bit. 
then we can come over here and address the next fail. Once again, lowering it down with B. Get it a bit flatter to the ground like that. And being cognizant that the other bale that we have already on the bail grab is kind of free to move around, right? We gotta be careful when we are repositioning it so we don't lose the other bale. And there we go, now we have two. We can hit X to fold. V to raise it up. And then left mouse back, left mouse button to then tilt it back. And there we go. Now we are transporting two round bales. If we had another one of these on the rear, we could do the same thing and transport four round bales all at once. Now taking a look at the Anderson RBM 2000. This is a round bale, bale trailer. All we need to do is unfold it or get it into transport or operating position by hitting B. And then once it is in operating position, we just drive up to the bale. We don't have to be positioned exactly so the bale will pick it up. We can just kind of drive up the row here and it will place three bales and then it will push the whole stack back a little bit make room so we can then add even more bales and while we cannot mix or match bale sizes we can mix and match bale types so right now we are picking up grass bales we can move straight over here and start picking up round hay bales as long as they are the same size we cannot pick up a different diameter bale while we have these bales already loaded on the trailer. But once we unload these bales, we can definitely pick up a different diameter bale. Let's go ahead and just pick up this last round bale. Then once we have picked up all the bales that we are going to pick up, we can hit B to go into transport position. We can drive to our destination. We want to unload the bales and we're going to hit Y to unload. And then we're going to hit Y again to unload bales here. And it's going to push the stack off. Oftentimes you can get good results if you slightly drive forward while it is unstacking. And then Y to get back into position once again. So now we have a nice stack of round bales right there. Maybe the least used bit of equipment as far as bale transport goes, the Arcusen 4 stack. It's been around for a while. I started playing in Farm Sim 17 and it was there, Farm Sim 17. I don't think I've used this, but maybe once or twice in all of my years of playing Farm Sim. The way this works is we hit B to go into operating position. You see it swings out. And what we need to do is we need to line up the four stack with our bale and then it will just ingest it like that then it will raise this bale up we need to line ourselves up with the next bale and then it will take it in position it will go down it will grab the next bale raise it up And while it's called a four stack, it only makes three bale stacks. Now this is probably why it's the least used bale grab 
or bale stacker because it can be a little finicky to making sure you are lined up. And now we have our three stack of bales. And what we do at this point is we get Y to unload the bales. Hit Y again to unload here. Drive forward. Hit Y again. Now we are ready to make our next stack. Like I said, you gotta be you gotta be a little square. You gotta be lined up on this thing just right, which is probably why it is not used as frequently as the other bale trailers because the other bale trailers are a bit more forgiving with respect to how things are lined up. Let's go grab this bale. are and like I said earlier we're going to hit Y Y again drive forward Y again and then when we're done we can hit B to go back into transport position and now we can drive to or from the field And then the last auto stacker that I wanted to show you was the Arcusen FSX6372. And I wanted to demonstrate here we have that 14 bale stack of grass bales. We hit B to go into operating position. And it will just grab it. And then if we had more of those, we could pick them up when we're done we're gonna go to Y to go into unload position and we're just going to unload this one and the way this works is it makes a big tall stack of bales I'm not really a huge fan of this particular stacker because of the fact that it makes those big tall stacks it can make it a little difficult to get those top bales down when you are feeding them because you really need a really tall telehandler in order to get even remotely close to that top stack let's go ahead and pick these up You'll see once it has two, it will then stand them up. And we'll be in a position to pick up another two. And then it will stand those up and push back to stack. And it will do that seven more times or six more times until we have a stack of 14. Once you have your 14 bales, you can go into unload position Y. As we demonstrated earlier, it's going to tilt the entire stack up. So now we are seven bales tall here. We're going to hit Y again. Just going to drop them down. We can pull forward. Once we are clear, we can hit Y again to put this bale stack back in its position, ready for uh, picking up another 14 bales. And you can see how getting the top bales can be difficult unless you have something with a fair bit of reach. Now I want to take a look at these individual bale grabs and kind of demonstrate their use. I'm going to connect to our front loader arms. I'm 
Gotta grab our flatbed trailer. And we're gonna come out here in the field and kind of just pretend that we have a field full of round bales. What we're gonna do is drop our trailer. And the way this is gonna work is we have some mouse controls. Right click, left and right. We'll open and close the grab. So we can open it all the way. We come along here and address our bale by its side. Lower our grab down over the bale and then close it like so and then pick up the bale up now we can use the bale grab like I said to feed our bales or we can use them to transport our bales on and off the field when we have it in position we can just open the bale grab up raise it up and then repeat the process time and time again until we have either collected all the bales off the field or we have fed the bales used the bales for straw whatever really we are looking to do Now the last bale grab I want to show you is this Abbott Bale King. It has some controls. We can hit X to unfold the front loader tool, which kind of folds up the forks there. And then we can right click and left and right to close the bale grab around the bales, either round or square bales. So we can use this to pick up a single bale, like this bale right here. Ideally, when you're doing this type of work, you may want to have a rear weight on the back of the tractor to compensate for the weight of the bale you're picking up. So you can go around and pick up a single bale, like so. You can then stack it on top of another bale and then go stack those two on top of another bale just like this and drop it down and then we can close our grapple around that other bale so now we are effectively holding two bales without too much difficulty whatsoever that up pull it out we could do something interesting like grab the bale from its top so we could fold up the tool and let's get more centered the claw around it like so or I think this stack pairs exceedingly well with the Arcusen 4 stack and that we already have bales 3 high we really could have bales 4 high with this bale grab we can once again address our stack and then we can close our claw around those bales and now I've got three bales of hay that I am transporting all at once like I said we really could if we had a fourth bale up there really transport four bales at once 
see how the rear gets a little light there. And we can easily put those bales on our bale trailer. Open up the claws. Pull that back out. Go grab some more bales, and then when we were ready, put a ratchet strap down on it, and there you go. Real quick, just getting set up for part five of the series, and I discovered a amazing use for this fork. That is with a big weight. You're gonna need a really big weight here. But you can now a little bit easier take those four top bales down off of that tall seven bale stack with this particular fork. Let's just see how that does again. So we just come up here, address the stack, and slide our fork into the bottom. Rotate our claws in. We now have 24,000 liters of grass. You want a big weight, a big rear weight. We have 1,100 kilogram weight here on the back of this tractor, and it is still not enough for all of this grass. But now we have been able to take down that top four stack fairly easily. So I just want to demonstrate that super fast as another, another way of basically getting these bales moved. So guys, I hope that was useful and helpful with respect to how can you transport and collect bales up off of a field once you have made these bales. There are several different ways you can do it manually with a bale grab like this. If you made the small square bales, you can pick them up off the field by hand. You can use the Arcusen 14 stacker to make a big stack of 14 small square bales that you can then use to transport off the field. Demonstrated the use of the four auto stacking trailers that are included with the base game. And then also demonstrated a few of the front loader tools that you could use to also do this particular task a little bit more manually should you so wish let me know in the comments how do you take the bales off your fields and until next time happy farming